It's so cold this morning. Again. Morning. I don't know whether you just saw because I flipped around, but. Ah! <laughs> what is that? What is that, Peen? Santa. Why is Santa's beard like a glove? Um, I don't know. I thought it was quite pretty. <laughs> where's my where's my horrible jumper? I don't buy you a tacky Christmas oh, jumper. Ah, I never get tacky Christmas you jumpers. You don't wear jumpers, and I thought you're not gonna wear it. No, you might no, wear I don't. it once for the lol. For the lol, yeah. And that'd be it. Someone saw my Christmas my my penguin hat at work and was like, oh, someone paid you to wear that, and I was like, no, it's my hat. It's a good hat. Wow, busy day today, Peen? It is actually. I had a quiet day yesterday. That coat just makes you look even worse. It like, makes you just look like huge. Because it's like so padded at the bottom. Sort of thing. Because it falls <clears> over here. You look like one of those little ladies that go on the it's toilet roll. I'm going to have to buy one of those lint rollers. Oh. I don't have one somewhere. Oh, all that alpaca hair. You've always got alpaca hair on I know, you. Well, I, have to, I just have to always wear the scarf and then it covers up the, mm. the hair on my coat. <laughs> you do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I took it off at work yesterday. I thought, oh, I'll just sit in my coat because it was cold. But I, thought, I can't sit in my coat because it looks a state. Looks a state? Yeah. Fun yeah. stuff. So, right, um, well, I had you over to Peen. Good day for me. Got some work to do. Stuff this afternoon. Got to do some ninja stuff. And then um, I'll see everyone later. So, um, bye. Well, you're seeing you now. Ready? <laughs> The Brit Vlog. Nine cat approved. Hello. Um, it's turning out to be one of those days again for me today. So I had yesterday off, um, obviously not off work, but off any dramas, and then it's back today. Um, oh, let me just get the phone. Okay, so that was just somebody telling me they weren't coming for a car, which I sort of realised because um, they're two and a half hours late. <laughs> um, apparently tried to ring before eight o'clock to tell me, but no one was here. Um, which is because we don't open until eight o'clock. So anyway, um, so it's definitely the coldest day because my car said minus five. So that's the coldest day so far. Although it doesn't feel as cold as it did the other day, to be fair. I don't know, it's pretty cold out there. Um, our hose is still frozen here, so we can't wash anything. Our one van came back completely filthy, so um, I've told, I told the guy like, we can't send it out like that. If they're just a bit grubby on the outside, we've been leaving them, because that's fine, and then just making sure they're clean inside. But this one was just, it was gross, so um, I've said you're gonna have to look for a way of cleaning it, so he's gone round with two buckets, one washing it and one washing the soap off and already that has now turned the yard into an ice rink so he said I'm not to go out there in case I slip um, and um, it was busy first thing um, I think I had, I did have I think five booked before half past eight but three of them came at eight and uh, obviously all the vans were frozen so um, yeah I was outside rushing to get those sorted and I was dealing with customers in here then the first van that I asked to send out the battery was flat on it so our first flat battery this year um, but they do like we do tend to get um, a few problems when it gets this cold and you just need to like charge the batteries up and then they're usually fine but obviously not any good when you need it to go out so um, I swapped swapped um, that customer into a different van and they were fine about that so not a problem and then um, someone came in a little bit later and I put him in the van so we had our MOT for that van yesterday and it passed with flying colours and I was all excited yesterday I was like great excellent day don't have to do anything to that van so then about 15 minutes later he called and said that um, he was having issues with it and that it was um, no good to drive so he'd be bringing it back <laughs> um, apparently what, well, what we suspect is it's something to do with just the fuel filter needs changing in that um, it seems fine when you drive it round sort of at normal speeds like 30, 40 like normal built up areas but it's when you go up 
to higher speeds it starts um, juddering and cutting out so that's um, excellent so that one is gone around the garage to be sorted out so I had to put him in another van and that was the only other spare van that I had today so I'm out of spare vans so everything else has to stay has to stay um, working um, but touch wood everything else it was okay obviously that car's just been cancelled so that one can come back inside and I am waiting for one two three more people for today um yeah so busy day and a cold day but should be all right because I've only got it's half past ten now so I've only got two and a half hours and then it's home time for me Hello, I am home now. Um, I take it back for what I said earlier that it didn't feel like the coldest day so far because it is. Oh my goodness. Um, it's, as I said, it's been really busy today. So I've been, um, have, I've been outside quite a bit sending out various vehicles. Oh, so cold. Oh my goodness. Like, just went out like what just like five minutes or so like sending out one van and my fingers were red because it's so cold um so i managed to get away fairly quickly i've got um flowers packed that are going today and still got a bit of time so i thought i might make a start on wrapping up some of the christmas presents um there's um been another issue at work <laughs> Um, I'm not there but um, if there's anything goes wrong I get I get called um, the tail lift on one of our um, or on our one of our box fans which are the biggest ones we do uh, is apparently stuck and so um, this customer is getting cross because he needs the van and he can't get the tail lift to move um, now it's difficult it is difficult to diagnose these things without actually seeing the van um, I mean, there could be something wrong, but I highly doubt it. I think, um, it's customer error, shall we say, but, <sighs> we don't know. Um, I've, um, been through with the other receptionist the basic errors that they usually make. Uh, apparently he's tried all of those and it's still stuck. So... Um, luckily he's only up the road so all I can suggest I and mean, we don't have anything else in today because we're so busy so um, she's popping up with some WD-40 <laughs> the cat's um, going a bit crazy today um, she's popping up with some WD-40 to see if she can diagnose the problem and fix it if it is something like one of the common mistakes that customers make then she'll be fine but if there is something wrong with it then I don't know there's nothing we can do um, our maintenance guy has gone home for the day, so all I said, you know, we just have to carefully drive the van back. The tail lift will fold up, it just won't um, go up and down uh, and refund the customer his money, but well, I don't know. She'll um, ring with an update, I think, once, she's, once she knows more, so I'll let you know. Um, yeah, I don't know what's got into the cat, but since I've been home, he's just been racing round the house. Pepsi cat, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> he's racing round. Um, I don't know, bless him. Very playful. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Can you hear the little um sub kitchen heater thingy in the jig? Um like I noticed that the because it warms up the tiles and I've noticed the tiles have been really cold the last couple of days which obviously hasn't helped with the freezing cold issue in the house um, so I just went to have a look at why it's not on because the heating's on so it should be on and it like wasn't on so whether it's accidentally been the switch has been knocked with someone's foot or a cat or something um, but it was like not on so I've just flicked the switch and it's come on so that's obviously not helping with the downstairs because we've only got the one radiator and that so hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer now that that's on so I thought you might 
<laughs> might not be interested in the van update. Uh, she's been out. Um, they think possibly the motor has frozen that lifts the lift up and down. I don't know. I don't know. My mechanical knowledge is like so. I don't know. Um, but apparently now the customer has calmed down and they're happy to continue using it because it is usable, although the lift won't go up and down. So she's just left them with it and they're bringing it back tomorrow. And, and then I'll get, um, well, she'll get um, our maintenance guy to look at it then. So at least customer's okay. Today's a good day. Why is that, Ruby? Can't tell you why. But we'll tell you at some point. Is there something something exciting going on? Yeah, but we can't tell you yet. Shh. Okay, surprise. We'll let you know when we can let you know. Surprise. <clears throat> Here is a box. Maybe it this has, is exciting. It has one, two written on it. It could also mean twelve. I think it means 12. I think it means 12. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> what could mm, that be? It doesn't sound like... <coughs> it sounds like you've put like a bonus lolly or, or fresh in there, but oh, maybe. it sounds like something else in there as well. Didn't you have lolly yesterday? It's yeah. Not, it's not lolly today. <coughs> ah! Get off! It's one of these! Ah! There's no lolly. Your little shake. What well, it's, it's a mini figure. Mini figure of what though? You don't ah. know! Ah! Ah! It's a surprise mini figure. It's unopenable! I hate it when they make unopenable stuff. Oh, where are the scissors? Oh, I opened it. I opened it. Where oh, are the scissors? Oh, it's all right. Superman. I love Lego. A surprise minifigure. What is it? I don't even know what the choices were. Uh. It's, 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 it's the dude with cool hair. It's the little mechanic dude. I think, oh no, what's this black thing? Oh, is that the thing you the plinthy stand on? Mechanic? Have you got a spanner yeah. there? I got a spanner. Ah, it's the mechanic dude I'm with weird Elvis hair. Yeah, he does have weird Elvis hair. And he has weird cheek things going on there. I think maybe like oil or something. Oh, right. He's got a bit messy during his fixing of. Um, maybe this is apt for today. He could fix our vans. Oh, yeah, he could fix some vans. <laughs> He's putting his toolbox on, which probably also doubles as his lunchbox. Mm hmm. Um, and, and his spanner. His spanner? And his little spanner here. Okay. What else could you have had a chef? What's that pink woman? Yeah, have women in Lego, do they? Don't know what she's supposed to be. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Picture old lady there. Uh huh. It's <laughs> <laughs> Elvis! <laughs> It's not meant to be Elvis, but it is. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what are you doing, Pepsi Cat? <laughs> he's very cute. He's tired after all his racing on. Yeah, you said he has a bit of a bad day. Now he's having a bit of a day, is it? to you English. <laughs> I've gone into the Sims language. It's gone away. <laughs> Beep -a -dop, -a -dop. <laughs> Sims language is funny. You're very big. People are having like big peen I face here. Know. I haven't zoomed in, it's just your face is massive. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a massive face. It's just your head. And your belly. Face. Don't you? Massive face you or massive face? You think my head is, is small or large, generally? Um, I'd say you have a mm, small head. That's right. I'd say pinhead. What about you? I have a tiny think, weenie head. I think your head's fairly large. Oh, no, I'm a big head. Well, Thanks, apparently, I've, Thanks. Look, look, it's like genetic. If you've got a big head, your babies have a big head. <laughs> so I would you. like a small head. <laughs> yeah, but then, oh, you mean you? Well, I think it's, it's obviously a mixture of both. Oh, I Maybe it'll have a middle sized head. I have a big head because I've got such a humongous brain. <laughs> Pina's a tiny head because she is a bit stupid. And couldn't get a degree without me. Uh, I've got two degrees without you. Thanks. No, you've got Thanks. two 
Two, two lean diagram. degrees without me. One diagram you did. <laughs> One, One diagram. diagram. Made the whole thing. What if I write to my tutor? <laughs> Tell him that you did one diagram. They'll take your degree see away. That will make no, any difference. They'll take your degree away, and they'll say you've now got a crappy degree. <laughs> they'll downgrade me. Yeah, they'll downgrade you. It's not worth it. For that one diagram yeah. of a fish. Diagram. Like it's multiple fish. It wasn't just one fish. Oh yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so you doing? Filming you. What are you doing with that? Some white powder on it. Maybe it's my coke. Maybe <laughs> some coke in the bank. <laughs> Super time now. Where have you got your iPad then? To sleep in. Oh. Got to do the video and then export it while I watch your iPad and then, then upload it and then Super time. Yeah. Yeah. Super time. See you tomorrow.